there you can see the roof, or the top of its head's finished. Oh, also a very nice boat in the back. Um, anyway, I had to put some uh, torches on it and in it. That way, a whole bunch of mobs would show up on top and inside, as they did. But anyway, uh, after that, I think the next thing I'm going to do is tentacles. Uh, I'm going to make that mostly out of probably blue stained clay and light blue stained clay. I'm going to have them do various things. Uh, probably the first one. Let's see, there's going to be... supposed to have like eight tentacles, right? Is there like the left and right or the front and back only have like, uh, uh, one, uh are they missing some here? Let me look at one of these squids here. Right, they got ones in the corners. <laughs> and so that's four, eight. Okay, good. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> For some reason I was misguiding. Uh, okay, so I gotta go ahead and make uh, eight tentacles. I have to figure out what do I want them all to do. I know I want at least a couple of them to be wrapping around the walkway here. I kind of wanted one to wrap around like uh, over here or you know, across the long ways or something. I'll have to see what I can decide to do. I think I'll practice first by making the one that goes from the center here. And uh, I'll put it like right there. Yeah, I've got to screw around with this for a bit. Um, anyway, <laughs> finally I can um, have a little bit of creative freedom here. Uh, let's see. I actually wanted these things to be pretty thick and big too. So I was thinking about having them uh, probably two blocks thick. I think I'll actually make the uh, bottom side of it have the lighter color, which would be this. And uh, let's just see what I can pop out here. I'm going to use this for scaffolding. Um, put that there. There we go. I'm trying to make this look fairly interesting and make it really look like he's wrapping his arm right around the whole thing. Uh, probably something like that. Replace this corner and that corner. Give them a dual color kind of look here. That could work. Uh, probably something sort of like that. I'm going to put one of those there. One is here. Oh, right, this is coming out very nice already. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this next part? I have to make scaffolding just for that. <laughs> A little bit of scaffolding in there now. Uh, okay, continue. I think I'll actually make this one a dark block. And I'll have to taper this off at the end, but I'm not entirely sure how long I want it to be. Um, I may wrap it completely around until he touches himself with it. Uh, with the other end, which would work. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'll probably do some some more of this on top. I'll figure out what I want to do with this other side. Uh, come here, block. Oh, well. There it goes. Almost uh, lost a block in the drink. Wouldn't have been the end of the world. I think I'll actually knock down that and that and do it like this. Um, I'll leave one of them dark and one of them light. There we go. That should do the trick. Uh, I'm going to play with a little bit more, maybe raise up this part. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I need to put that there. And put some blocks on top of it, too. Yeah, missing a couple. There we go. How does this look? 
pretty good. It might look better once I put the back side on this. Um, kind of like that. Not bad. Not bad. I still think I might raise this up just a little. That way it looks a little bit more roundy. And knock that up. Uh, let's see, how do I want this done? Pretty close. Uh, hmm. Honestly, the rest of this is just going to be a pile of little details. <laughs> uh, but I'll definitely make it look good. That, that looks good. Much more rounded. Uh, still offset nicely. At least on parts of it. And this part is interesting. Hmm. Could leave it that way. Possibly. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. And I'll probably do another one and change it around a little bit, too. Alright, now i got to finish the tip. Let's see, I'll probably stick, like, a tree in one. <laughs> uh, I might put a straw in one of them. Possibly the one the corner one or something. That way you can actually have an entrance into the mouth. So it'll be like sipping a giant straw. That could work. Uh, I'll have to see how, how that goes. And uh, I think I'm going to do something kind of like this. And it uh, goes to the right just slightly. Something like that. That could work. Um, okay, pop this block here in place. Alright, that, that'll work, I think. Uh, I'll actually knock this one out. And probably that one. That probably looks pretty good there. Uh, kind of like wraps a little. All right, now to connect the actual uh, the tentacle <laughs> the rest of the way. Uh, I think I might uh, start with a purple. Put it like this. And I'll connect it to the bottom. Oh, this is the light. Uh, let me switch this. Got my colors mixed. All right, do it like that. Knock those out and do that. Okay. Uh, actually, this one I'll make the light color. Not that you're going to be able to see anything down here. <laughs> All right, and I'll even change up a little bit of this so it's not just straight pile of blocks. I think I'll knock this one out. Gives a little bit more definition if you uh, don't have it just a uh, 4x4 four four blocks or you stick a little bit of different uh, angles on it in some ways, like right here. I'm going to change that to a light one and put the dark one right here. And that also probably would allow me to change this up a little if I wanted. I think that's looking pretty good. So you could actually climb up at least part of the way. <laughs> Not entirely. Um, I may have one literally just set out in a certain manner to where you could climb it up. Oh right, well, yeah, that's that tentacle turned out really nice. All right, I just take off all the scaffolding. 
Now I just gotta do a whole bunch more and stick things in its hands. <laughs> I'll have to decide upon what all to put in it. Uh, and some of those I could switch out depending on what theme I've got it going for the month or something. But that, that one looks great. Just wrapped around. <laughs> uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, I'll do some more. Oh, derpy squid. Why are you so derpy? Anyway, got quite a bit done here. I've been working on it for a while. These things, each tentacle takes uh, probably about 15 minutes or so to build. Uh, I only got two left to do. One in the back. Um, and one on the front left, actually. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with the one in the back yet, but the one in the front left, I wish to uh, actually kind of make an entrance down into it. So I was thinking about having it hold like a straw that was sticking into his mouth. That way he can get into it. Uh, otherwise, I got a bunch of tentacles wrapped all over the place underneath. So you can see all the ones I've got in here so far. Uh, pushing the water breathing might help me out a little bit down here. <laughs> Oh, so got this one over here, kind of, that's just the front one. It's kind of like wrapping around the side of this other tank here. And then I got this other one here. Uh, what's this one doing? This one's just kind of hovering over top of the, uh, over the walkway a little bit. This one right here, I got specifically built so I could stick something in the middle that's like uh, a pole of some sort. Uh, you could also walk up it a little bit. But <laughs> there's no easy way to really get back over here without taking a little damage. And this one right here, it's uh, grabbing from underneath and wrapping around the entire corner. And coming over to uh, right there, where it ends. This one over here is a little bit special. It uh, obviously comes from the corner here. I still got to put the center one in. And this one goes and over uh, over here and coils around several times, but it does it over a three by three area. So if you really wanted to, you could stick like possibly a a very small building in the middle of it. I was thinking about possibly sticking like Davy Jones's locker room and a shower or something in that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll decide uh, a little later. And this one right here is just uh, the first one I built. Just comes out, wraps around. It was kind of like the practice one. I, I kind of got a little more fancy over time and did funky things. They look really good. The only problem I'm having with them is uh, I could probably use to light some of these up a bit so things don't start spawning on them. I'm going to kind of try to hide the torches on the back side, at least for now. Eh, ah, that's a hard way to get up. Um, so anyway, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on putting in a straw in its mouth. I'm going to use this white stained clay, I think. Uh, we're going to build the straw first, and then see about uh, wrapping the tentacle around it afterwards. Usually easier to do it that way. So, it doesn't have to be really big. I'm just kind of got to decide how I want to do it. The only thing is, it's kind of shaped a lot like his teeth, too. I'll probably use a little scaffolding. And, uh, yeah, I think this is the same block. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, well. Figure it out later. Um, I was going to actually put it probably up to about here. I just got to decide exactly how big I want it. Uh, and the shape. So I would like people to probably come up into it right in here somewhere. I'm thinking... Oh, get out of the way, block. Didn't mean to put you there exactly. Hmm. See, I could stick a 3x3, three three, or approximately, right around in here. And you could pop out right here, or right here, one of those two. Probably right here. That'd be hollow. That we can get in. I'll even stick a... Uh, Probably put a, uh, something, I don't know, <laughs> a ladder in there or something. i got to make it in such a manner to where it's big enough to where you can get down into it, too. So I, I kind of need it to be probably a 2x2 a two two wide. So I guess I'm going to start from this end right here. 
and uh, do it like this. And that should be big enough. We'll figure out exactly the specifics of it once it's built. A lot of times when I build things, it's sort of like winging it, and it turns out really good. Like uh, most of these tentacles, they're not really planned very well. I mean, I just kind of throw a bunch of blocks together until it looks good and fiddle with it till it's right. <laughs> and um, create a process, you know? <laughs> That's how it works. I was thinking about making this thing in a diagonal manner. Uh, let me see what I can pull off here. I'm probably going to have to break all my ladder out of the way. Which kind of be a little bit of a pain, but it will. Get rid of some of that. Okay, so. Just uh, place that there. Now I was kind of thinking about, at this point, uh, doing it more like this. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pull that off. Hmm. Because I kind of want to make it look like it's starting to go in an angle. But I don't know if I can actually do that with this particular design of straw. So I may not be able to pull that off. It may just have to go in right angles and have joints. Kind of like those twi um, a lot of the uh, simple straws you get at like fast food restaurants. They'll have some funky joint in it. And uh, you can angle it any way you want. Might need to get another potion in a moment. I figured out what that funky machine was over in the Sea World. It actually uh, makes um, it makes a bunch of uh, air tank. Uh, well, actually, uh, potions of water breathing, which is also labeled air tanks. But uh, yeah, that was pretty neat. I've never seen a completely automated system before for brewing. But uh, yeah, they may have managed to pull it off. Crazy man did. This is a very neat uh, device. I'm going to pull this thing down here a few blocks uh, under the water. Not entirely sure how far. Probably that far before I start uh, going somewhere with it. Now I'm going to have to try to find a manner to take it at a uh, completely 45 degree angle to get it over here. That could be a little tricky, but uh, let's just see what I can pull off here. I think if I just do a bit of this, it's also got to be airtight, basically. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think this will at least get me started. Yeah, that's in the right direction. I'll have to move the hole a bit. Yeah. I've put so much scaffolding up, I busted through like three shovels now. Oh, come on. I just said, screw it. <laughs> I'm tired of shoveling or making shovels. Unfortunately, it has the, that has the side effect of um, make it, making it so I have to, uh, you know, <laughs> punch dirt for a while while underwater, which is kind of a difficult thing. Oh, I still got some potions of water breathing for a little bit. Of, nah, okay, not much go left, but it's useful. I'm also wearing a helmet with Aqua Affinity and Respiration 2. Uh, there's a couple more good enchants you could use on a uh, underwater type helmet, but I just didn't go through the trouble. <laughs> there was a whole crap ton of already pre-made helmets and stuff, and I just looked through those for a couple of them with some uh, decent enchants for water, underwater and stuff. It's good enough for me. Alright, I'm thinking right here I'll uh, see about making a uh, another straw section. Probably like so. And good thing I went and got a whole crap ton of white stained clay. Uh, let me just I wonder if I should I could pull this up right in here, but it would be the exact same color as the teeth. If I did that, I should probably change the teeth to um, quartz, quartz blocks, which I could definitely do, and I think I will do that. Um, that would be a good idea. Uh, where is this? Okay. I'll figure out what to do with the rest of this mess. Hmm. 
how to get this thing at least mildly circular, you know? I know I'm going to need at least a two uh, tall spot to walk through here. Like so. So I'll just go ahead and fill that in and build off of it. And this is about the time I need to go <laughs> and get another potion of water breathing, probably. Um, now I'll just fill this in, what I need to be... Um, what I need to be air, and I'll dig it out when I'm finished. I'd have to like get the water out of it at some time anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, there we go, and then a little bit more over here. I got tons of dirt. Honestly, in this server, we probably got more netherrack than anything, since you know all the uh, paths in the nether for all the. Um, the nether hub we spent uh, quite a bit of work on. Everybody's got their own paths to their own bases and things. Alright, that's pretty good. Now, oh jeez, no, 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 don't kill me. Oh god. <laughs> jeez. Uh, I think I, I need to go grab a uh, potion. <laughs> Let me just grab some ladders here. Uh... Spamming ladders everywhere. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at this uh, auto potion making thing. I only partially understand how it's built. So you stick your water bottles in here, which I only have one, and uh, it'll pull out uh, this, uh, pull it out of this hopper, like it'll stick your water bottles in that hopper, and it'll put the water bottles in here. And I'm not going to do it because I only got one. I'd prefer to brew up three at a time instead of one. And then over here, nope, 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 not that, that. Uh, right there, we got a dropper with puffer fish. Uh, we also got a dropper over here with redstone, and there's a dropper here with netherwort. And somehow or other, these things are timed in such a manner that uh, when this thing gets brewing stand, or actually gets, um, well, it's kind of like put in an order. Like in here, you can see it's already got the uh, netherwort, and let's put it into this hopper first. And then comes the redstone, and then the puffer fish. Or actually, I think the puffer fish goes in first. Oh, redstone. Yeah. Uh, so, it manages to do that in order somehow. I guess it's just good timing. And he's got like a whole bunch of hoppers all over the place. I have no idea what the dark oak wood's for or what it does. It's probably just checking for the. Uh, some quantity or something or other, but uh, anyway, it pulls out the water breathing potions here, dumps them in here, <laughs> and this is where I pull out, and I need a couple of those. So that's a pretty interesting device, even though I don't entirely understand the whole thing. Uh, though if I actually sat down and tried to copy it, I would likely understand it way before I'm finished. Uh, I just haven't put in the time to try to understand it yet. But I actually do like playing with uh, devices like that. Let's see. I think I need to just do something like that. And probably put a uh, some kind of rounded edge on this thing. I don't know. Uh, put a bottom on it. Yeah, okay. I'll stick a piece of dirt there and just chuck the bottom on that. And I guess I'll just kind of spam the rest of this with blocks, and it'll make some <laughs> something similar to a tube, <laughs> and, or a giant straw, <laughs> and it should work out. Now I think I need to pop these ones, yeah, or yeah, this is where I need to stick it. So, knock these out. <laughs> Put these on top. Put these on the sides, then I gotta do the bottom. It's interesting to build underwater. Uh, honestly, a long time ago, I used to do it quite frequently uh, when I was newer to Minecraft, but um, I haven't done a lot of underwater building since. I uh, made like underwater bases or dug out a giant hundred by hundred circle underwater, like an ocean base of doom. 
It was a lot of fun, but I haven't done hardly anything in, in, uh, underwater since. And since now that we got Aqua Infinity helmets and uh, potions of water breathing, it's a really good thing to possibly get into again. Plenty of fun. Alright, uh, let me just drop this here, that there, build some walls off of it. So we got quite a lot of dew left of this squid. Uh, we've still got to put in all the insides, and we also get, need to dress them up on the outside. I got some ideas for my initial dress up. I'm probably going to go with a nautical theme at first, and maybe in a month or so I can change it. So, you know, feel free to leave suggestions for changes and things. Uh, and let me put this inside a little bit. There we go. Now we got a straw into his mouth. <laughs> and now I gotta get rid of all the dirt and uh water in here. That's gonna be a pain. I think I'll get a shovel for that mess. And then uh we'll wrap some tentacles around this. Or at least a tentacle. So I got one left I need to build. Actually two I need to build. Still don't know what to do with the back one yet. Alright. I went ahead and dug it all out. And uh took uh took care of all the water. Alright, so that'll give us a nice little entrance into here that's kind of like a straw. <laughs> kind of. I still gotta take care of his teeth, but uh, that can wait for now. Uh, next up is wrapping a tentacle around this mess. Uh, usually I start at the end and figure out where where to attach it later. Um, which kind of makes me wonder, should I have possibly moved the whole thing over a little bit? <laughs> Uh, maybe, but I could probably start the very end of the tentacle right around here, possibly. Uh, let me start it. I'm actually going to need a little bit of scaffolding. Let me put it right here. And, uh, kind of like that. That should work. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, and since I already have something to wrap around, um, it makes it a lot easier, a lot simpler to do. I just got to make sure it looks good, decently convincing, you know, and uh, kind of deciding what to do with this part. Uh, probably do something like this. That might work out pretty good. Might even be able to walk up this thing if I uh, build it just right. Probably be able to even. Uh, let's see how I got this thing built. Yeah, you could walk up this sucker. All right, so that'll even work for a good uh, way out too, which is nice. Let me just do that. Yeah, that, lo that looks good and works good. All right. I also want to make sure it's thick enough in all places too. Uh, that should do the trick. Okay. Now usually I'll do the the uh, light clay first, which would be the bottom of the tentacle, and then I'll wrap around with the, uh, or I'll slap the uh, blue stained clay right on top wherever I happen to, I want that. And right here I'm going to do it kind of like this. Actually, I think I want to move that one down a nudge. There we go. And I'm going to need another potion of water breathing since it took a while. My last one ran out. Ah, so nice to have those. Thank you very much, Sparks. Uh, now to figure out how to... Okay, i got to get this thing attached right here somehow. And I actually got the straw in the way. Uh, that shouldn't be too much trouble for me to deal with. Uh, I'll just kind of... Do it like this, and do that. And uh, the way I've got this done, oh, that's the wrong block, I think. Ah, oh, that, that may work. Let's see. Let me go look at uh, what I've done on the other ones. I think I got the light colored inside a block, and then the uh, on the edge here is where I've got the uh, dark blocks. So, put the dark purple here, light purple behind. Now i got to figure out how to squeeze this whole thing out. <laughs> Something kind of like this. 
Um, might just work. I actually switch this one for a light. And I do it kind of like that. Uh, that could work. Okay. I'll just uh, spam a whole bunch of uh, other colored blocks on top and see if I can get the whole thing to look right. Let's see. Might switch this one out. Uh, or switch this one out and put that one back. I'm not sure. Mm. Some of this isn't going to be looked at too much anyway. <laughs> But, uh, my own personal preference for making things look good, you know? Alright, this will probably do the trick. Alright. Yeah, this is going very well. Uh, what is this? There we go. Alright, there we go. Now you can even climb up if you really want to. And I'll even stick a uh, torch right there so nothing spawns, hopefully. And I may do a little bit more with this. Um, hmm. Let's see. Just kind of try to make that look decent. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Mm, I may move it up a block, though. Yeah, Details at this point, you know. <laughs> Guaranteed to look great at this point. It's just details. How to get the details just right. Let me just stick another block right there. And that there. Uh, hmm. It's an odd spot. Nah, I think it looked better without that. I have a zombie around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, hi, zombie. What are you doing around here? Hard to say where he spawned. I probably made a whole bunch of spots for him to spawn lately, which is uh, probably a bad thing, especially since this is supposed to be a spawn-free kind of zone around here. I got scaffolding here and there. Not very much, actually. I think I took most of it down. Um, and some of what I've built here is going to occasionally spawn a thing or two. But uh, I think it looks pretty good right there. Now, I just got to stick on one more tentacle on the back. And fight things off the back end of this thing again. Alright. I actually managed to stick a punch on this bow recently. And there goes a creeper. Of course, it was probably going to explode in my face later since yeah, I'm going to be around here anyway. Ow. <laughs> Alright. Where are you at? Uh... <laughs> Bad shot. There we go. Clear. <laughs> See if I can get out of here in one piece. Okay. And I gotta put at least one torch on this thing. That might do the trick. Maybe. I was kind of hoping the light that I got right here, which was already there, covered that one, but I guess it didn't entirely cover it. Yeah, there you can see some of my other torches. Alright, so I only got uh, one more tentacle to do on this guy, and then I'm pretty much done with the tentacles, and we can dress them up later. And put on in his put it in his insides, uh, which I still have to think about what I want to do with that. But uh, I have a pretty good idea. Man, there's things spawning all over the place around here suddenly. I think I'm out of torches too. Well, I can get some more later. Um, all right, last tentacle. What to do? I could just kind of have it lean on top of this, but I kind of wanted to have him holding stuff and. Well, he's, he's going to be holding something there. He's already holding something over there. And he's going to be holding something there. So I could just have it lean on the, on the back side here. That would work. Let's just do that. I'll uh, put a tip here. And there we go. I 
can kind of wobble it around a bit. Uh, that could work. I just do a bit of that. And I'll even put that out over there. Let's switch this thing out for a purple. And to be honest, I could have them hold something here too. Um, yeah, it could work. But uh, that, that'd be for later. And now to figure out what else I want to do with the back end of this. I mean, probably that. And actually, these two I need to get rid of. And I want to take it down a block too when I can. Ah! So, get rid of that. Down a block. Alright, what about the scaffolding and continue? So, finally mowed my yard today. It was only waist high. <laughs> I hate yard work for some reason or other. Like, I really like the outdoors and I really like plants, but I hate doing yard work. I'm not really sure 100% why. I think maybe it's because I like to see the plants grow and I don't like to see them be chopped down. Uh, that's my current guess on my own psychology. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense to me sometimes. I don't often make sense to myself. That's just the way things go. Where's the center of this sucker? Right here? I think that's it. Yeah. Now I usually attach this guy... How do I do this? I put a block here for reference. Uh, I've done it a couple different ways. All right, that that looks good. Something like this. Make sure I got that centered. Yep. There we go. And uh, kind of figure out how to attach from there. It's gonna be funky. I might have to uh, redo bits and pieces of this. Let's see what I can think of. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't so hard. Except I gotta figure out how to twist this whole thing around now. Uh, let me actually redo a few bits and pieces of this, because purple's not gonna be on the wrong side there. Um, let's see. i do it like this. Yeah, okay. Have to do that a little bit quicker then. All right, that could work, and I'll put some purple here. Uh, I'll actually knock this out and replace it with purple. There we go. And how to do the rest. Uh, yeah, that's looking good. Okay, uh, I think I need to change some of that out. There we go. Got to make sure it looks thick enough to actually work. Um, this part's a little bit too abrupt, really. And now this part isn't thick enough. A spot here. Yeah, um, that ain't right. Let's see. I had to change up some of this top just a little. All right, put that there. That might work right here. I just uh, put a block here and knock that one off. Oh yeah, that that's just about what I want. I'll just do a little bit of tweaking, thicken it up a couple bits, and then I uh, think it's about ready. And this part's extra thick here. 
which means I might want to knock that one off. Alright, that might just about work. Especially if I redo a few bits and pieces on this. Alright, so... I'll do it kind of like that. And, uh... Put in the lighter part here, and up here, I like that. Now to shape the end of this somehow. And see if I can really make that pop in some manner. Uh, let's see. Whoa, fell in. Alright. Really getting the details on this sucker is a big pain. But uh payoff's gonna be pretty nice. Okay, this is actually looking good from right here. Um let's see, how's it looking from elsewhere? Kinda would like oops, wrong color. Like one of those there, and one there. And possibly chuck a couple purples on the top and we might be good to go. Maybe. Probably right there. Alright, now I could uh, just curve this end a bit. Yeah, I think that'll work right there. Uh, let's put this here. Eh, I think it's better without, maybe. Yeah. Alright. I think that'll do the trick. I might have to light them up a bit, but uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the whole outside of the, um, the squid done. Straw included, and I think we'll uh, have to work on the insides and outsides next. I don't know which one I'm going to do first. <laughs> I got quite a few ideas for both. Whichever one I feel like, I guess. So, uh, catch me next time, and uh, we'll continue working on this uh, giant squid of doom. I still don't know what to call them yet, though. I'm taking suggestions for that, too. So, um, yeah, think of a name. <laughs> think of a theme, you know. And if I don't use the one theme immediately, I'll probably use it as a good idea for another theme in a month or two when I decide to change this guy around. Because I'll be able to change his outfits and things he holds anytime I want. And uh, it'll just be a kind of a fun thing to do <laughs> occasionally for the laws. Catch you later. Have fun. Bye.